Hey all guys, it's me again. Hope you've all had a great week so far and hope you all have a good start to the weekend and indeed uh, have a good weekend. So, I'm going to review this beer tonight. I've had this for quite a while. Well, when I say quite a while, almost probably six to eight weeks maybe. And I bought it in a local uh, centre shop, which is a chain of, um, you know, just normal grocery stores here in Ireland. And it's this one, if I can remember where the freaking camera is. Okay, it's um, Arterstown Brewing Company. It's Kevin Dundon's Kings Bay Maple Ale. Now Kevin Dundon is a well-known chef here in Ireland. And Maple Ale, uh, Kings Bay Maple Ale. 500 mil, 4.4% ABV. Um, now I think this beer was heading up for four euros, which is pretty damn pricey. Um, beer prices, and craft, craft beer prices here in general are kind of starting to get out of hand now. Um, so we'll read off the ingredients. Spring water, barley, maple syrup, hops, yeast. Now it has the Canadian maple leaf and it says maple ale but I don't actually know and I couldn't find out where they actually get um, their maple syrup from. So I don't know where's the real deal or not. Um, my Kings Bay seasonal range, so that's referring to Kevin Dundon. My Kings Bay seasonal range is brewed here at Dunbrody House in small batches with only the finest ingredients. <laughs> We use our own Arthur's Town grown barley and water from the old boiling well on the estate to, to give a unique set of flavours to our beers. This beer uses maple syrup to accompany a well-balanced light amber ale, so it's an amber ale, giving us a subtle maple sweetness, great with pork or chicken dishes and on, on its own. Enjoy, Kevin Dundon. And it's Arthur's Town in County Wexford, Ireland. Uh, Microbrewed, so it is a genuine microbrewery. Uh, beer member. So that's, a, that's a new thing I've seen. That's the first time I've seen that on a bottle here. Um, a lot of the microbrewery here are basically trying to um, get away from the whole uh, craft beer moniker because it's it's been swallowed up by um, macro breweries buying up smaller breweries and then pretending to be craft beer so i think what they're trying to do is to start a new sort of label almost like guaranteed irish or guaranteed british or whatever so they're trying to start a new label a gang of them together and it's going to be hopefully something onto this that says basically it's micro brewed which would be any brewery that has to be 100 percent independently owned and run and below a certain amount of hectoliters per year. I'm waffling now. I'm waffling because I'm trying to leave this warm up a bit because it's basically come out straight out of the fridge. So it's an amber ale. It doesn't say why, what hops is in it. And it doesn't give any indication as to when the maple uh, syrup was added to it or where indeed the maple syrup comes from. So I'll give you another one. Look at that. Winnipeg brew bombers that lot now. Ooh, that cap was on well. Usually when I get a cap stuck like that, the beer ends up shooting up all over the place. Ooh, very biscuity. Mmm, kind of a nutty aroma for that. Can't get much in the way of hops, I can tell they're there, but it is quite cold. I like, so far I like. And just bear in mind guys that it, this is quite cold. It also doesn't give any indication on this as to whether it's bottle conditioned or not. So I'm going to assume not. We should know soon enough. Not that it really makes any difference to me. 
Sorry, I keep looking the wrong direction for the camera. Hmm. I'd say it probably is. I think there's a wee bit of yeast went in there. Lovely biscuity, nutty aroma for this. I know there's hops there. Nice mild hop aroma. Can't tell what they are. So there you go, guys. It's actually, uh, yeah, there obviously was a bit of yeast went into it. So that's, that's uh, a little bit hazy. Almost onto a... Uh, an amber wheat beer if that makes sense so it's a gorgeous gorgeous orangey color like a light copper orange color um little to no head again it's it's cold as a witch's tit so mm, i'm definitely getting that Real biscuity, grainy, nutty type of aroma. It smells absolutely fantastic. Mm. Not much in the way of hops, so we're going for a taste. Slauncher. I really should have let this warm up, but I just couldn't wait any longer. So paying no attention to the lack of the head on this one, that's entirely my fault for having it too cold. I don't come to think of it, should that make a difference? Who knows? Meat embodied, perfect. No real up from bitterness. Definitely a more malt forward beer. It's definitely one for the malt, so more like a traditional ale. Extremely well carbonated. But not overly so. I've got a gorgeous bready biscuity, sort of nutty flavour. That's the main thing. Little hint of toffee there. Almost reminds me, not getting much in the way of chocolate or dark moss, but it almost reminds me of a mild. Even though I know they say it's an amber ale. It almost reminds me of a British mild. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Now as for the maple. Mm, that's strange. Yeah, I'm after taking a couple of sips now and on the back end of the swallow, it can't, this can't be right, but there's an almost smoky flavour to it, which really doesn't make sense. Unless that's something that's coming off the maple syrup and I'm interpreting it in my head as being a smoky flavour. But there is definitely a, um, a certain sweetness there on the back end that's nearest I could compare to is molasses. It's, I've never actually had maple syrup myself. Genuine Canadian maple syrup. As everybody knows, that's the only place you can get real maple syrup. That's, that's a pretty damn good beer, guys. Um, Kings Bay Maple Ale. Uh, think of it as an amber version of, well, I suppose even, in, think of it as a, a slightly more carbonated English mild with a dash of molasses in it. And I think it'd be pretty damn close, but that's a very, very session beer at 4.4%. Now, as I said, that bottle was getting up for four euros. I think it was like 3.90 or something like that, which is absolutely crazy. It's definitely not worth that. Certainly not for 4.4%, but most beer and most beers in general, I don't consider being worth that. Um, but that's just me. Yeah, guys, if you see it, definitely try it. Uh, that's definitely one I'd go back and buy again. Um, that's sort of bitter smokiness on the back end is really throwing me. So I'm going to put that down to the maple syrup. 
I don't know much about maple syrup, but as a standalone beer, pretty damn good. So, Arthurstown Brewing Company, Kings Bay Maple Ale, Kevin Dundon uh, range. I would give that a solid 7.5 out of 10. Um, I would probably have gotten it an 8 or given it an 8 out of 10, but at 4 euros for, for that bottle for a 4.4% beer, it's way overpriced. Cheers, guys. Take care. It's long before.